uh, Travis Bajan and, you know, making a comeback with his left hand. What would what oh, your thoughts yeah. on that? Do you think that could ever happen again? Absolutely wants to, to see him on the table. Really. The, he was uh, amazing on the commentary, actually. Uh, I like what he uh, did. And, you know, he's a very bright person in our mess. He can be, uh, you know, he can be some crazy guys. Not everyone loves him, but he's definitely one of the special guys who, who makes our wrestling, you know, more bright, more bright in the shadow. And uh, I want him to come back. And uh, actually, if you ask me about, uh, uh, for example, matches, I think uh, he can be very cool in the matches so in the left hand uh, against everyone in top five. If he will be interested, yeah, he will be uh, the dangerous guy for everyone in the top five. But of course, he, he, he needs to train. He needs to come back. Like Dennis, he says that he needs some time to 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 be 100% guys with come back. So uh, with Travis, it's the same. But you know, now we have so amazing time for growing of our wrestling. We have uh, the time when old legends are coming back. The family is growing up of, you know, all our American community is growing up. We have so cool events. And uh, I, I love what this happens now in the world of our wrestling. Uh, our wrestling is just on the wave now. You know, sometimes even now here, you go somewhere at the gym and people go to you and ask something. Or you see the guys starting practice and you just come uh, and ask where you got uh, info about this. And you say, yeah, we're actually watching the videos. We're watching you on the videos or we're watching something and we want to try. So it's it's a beautiful time for our wrestling. I yeah, I would love to see Travis, you know, maybe put on like 20, 30 pounds and really focus, you know, I think he needs a good six months to a year to really take it seriously and uh, just get back to the old Travis Bajan being the beast and, and training real hard. You know, I tried putting out there some motivation for him because, you know, I know that Travis is motivated by money. And, uh, you know, I put out that offer for a $15,000 uh, match to the winner against him versus Devin Lorette left hand. You know, so uh, I haven't heard anything back yet from it, but I'm hoping that, uh, you know, maybe if we just keep poking at Travis, he'll eventually, you know, want to get back into it. I know he's got his hands full right yeah. now. His son's going for uh, NFL. So, you know, it's very understandable that he's focused oh, yeah. 100% yeah. on that. But once that gets ironed out and his uh, son does make the NFL, Travis, it's still out there. We got 15000 on the table. If you want to pull Devin Lorette left hand, hit me up. We can make that happen for sure. Now, um, also with uh, Dennis Saplankov making his comeback and all, and, uh, you know, I know that he hasn't really been focusing too much on the left hand, but if he did, I think that would be an amazing match, maybe like a year from now, both of them trained up and peaked oh, yeah. out. Dennis versus Travis. How do you think that would go? You know, definitely it would be super attractive because when we have – uh, Trevor is near to the table. It's already the show. It's the level of the show is growing up. He's, you know, so special guy by making the show during the match. He's uh, absolutely confident. He's, uh, you know, he's uh, the, the special guy by uh, level of understanding what to do, something provocations against his opponent. He makes some argue, he uh, trying to, you know, make some moves and uh, which can, you know, goes out from the comfortable zone, his opponent. And uh, Dennis is actually, it's a guy who is calm. It's like I say, it's slow uh, power by, you know, like, like Piton, which just do something with you and do impossible to do something against him. So it will be like absolutely different styles. Travis is absolutely explosive style, and he will be trying to, to be much explosive if, if he can. And Dennis will be trying to control him. So, yeah, it will be interesting match. And about Devin, it's also very cool match, very. And uh, I believe that if it, of course, I understand the priorities of uh, 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 Travis. I know what is it, NFL, and probably he even thinks more about his son than uh, about himself for now. Yeah, but if it will be possible by timing for him and uh, it will be cool motivations, you know, I can understand Travis money. It's things which motivates people a lot. 
And uh, if we can motivate him and come back, I think it will be very cool for everyone to watch Travis again. Yeah, I think uh, Dennis versus Travis would be very interesting. Just like you said, they're two polar opposites. You know, you got Travis, the loud mouth, and, you know, depends on explosive hit. And then you got Dennis, who is probably the most humble, quiet guy that loves to pull slow and very, very powerful. So that's two opposites going at it. I think that would be very interesting. And then on the other spectrum, you got Devin versus Travis, where you got probably the two best shit talkers there are in our sport. Both of them would be just even before the match actually started yeah. that setup. I would just pay to see that setup. That would be amazing. Who would win that day on just talking crap and and then uh, oh, you got yeah, to, man. you got also uh, Honestly, factor in there. Even start during conference. I believe it, it starts even before the conference. They already will do something great. You know. Oh, a hundred percent. But you also got a factor in there. Devin's got Jody on his side, so you got Jody behind screaming and everything. And you know, I. I I don't think she likes Travis too much. So, you know, there's a lot of personal beefs going on there. So, uh, yeah, that would be a very exciting. So, guys, let's push these guys. Let's see if we can make this happen. You know, I'm, I'm pretty sure Devin would be down. I talked with him. You know, uh, I just got to get in touch with Travis, see if he's interested. But uh, if you guys could get it out there, we're putting that out in the universe one more time. 15K hit a winner. Now I say to the winner because uh, I know Travis will just take the match, you know, if he's just going to get a payday, you know, so that's why I want to make it a very strong incentive. We could do 15 K and I'm going to add this on right now. And we could also do pay-per-view percentages just to entice both of the athletes. So Travis is not just you coming for a free day. If you lose, you will make something out of that. So I hope that's enough to get you wanting to uh, to get out there and uh, get back into our sport because I'd really love to have you back, brother. So, uh, Alex, I just want to thank you again, brother, for coming on today. It was a pleasure. You are uh, a great champion and a very good person to do interviews with. Very well spoken and uh, you have a lot to say and I uh, really appreciate that. And I cannot wait for this summer to see you making uh, your big moves and all. I'll be uh, looking forward to that. You said you're going to be coming uh, left hand first. Uh, I hope you get that match with Artem Morozov. I really would love to see that. You get a shot at number one. And then I uh, just can't wait to see who you're going to be the first appoint opponent for you right hand as well. Thank you so much. I will. I was really happy to be the part of your show. And I want to say that uh, it's great that Armes and having you because now, you know, we, uh, we are so cool with these things that we have such a people like you who help the guys like old legend like Travis to come back to find some interest uh, and you know that the, the fan of the sports in the heart actually develop the sports because like you and in the rest of guys who are organizing something if they like our wrestling they even better in organizing so it's not just about business it's you know about the passion and I see that you have this passion so it's uh, really cool that you now on this stage and uh, uh, thank all of you guys who support uh, Paul and uh, subscribe on his channel and uh, uh, be healthy, be strong and be happy. And make sure to get over to Alex's channel, go over there, subscribe. He's got tons of great content. He's always putting out uh, all this good uh, interviews. He's always uh, showing his training and uh, him just going around the world doing what he does and loves and that's arm wrestling. So uh, thank you again, brother, and have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.